So, you're probably wondering, hey, what happened to Steelers Titans? Was that supposed to be this week? That got moved. If you did see um, my week what, week four preview, the game got moved. It was going to be moved irregardless. They moved it to week seven, I believe. Yeah, week seven, and pushed some other games back. So, because of positive COVID testing results, the Titans were ravaged by COVID. Sixteen. Um, Players and personnel members tested positive for COVID. That's not the only team that tested positive for COVID. That game, that Steelers Titans game, got removed and basically put on the schedule for later. And Cam Newton, quarterback of the New England Patriots, tested positive for COVID, along with Jordan Tiamu, the backup for the Chiefs. One of the backups, anyway. I'm not sure if there's another backup for the Chiefs. We'll also tested positive. So that Chiefs-Patriots game was going to be moved. There wasn't really anything common on the schedule as far as buys and stuff goes. So they had to move that around quick. They moved that to Monday night. And that really served as a compliment to, um, to the rather unfortunate matchup we got for Monday Night Football in the Falcons and the Packers. Packers ended up beating up on the Falcons anyway, 30-16. to 16. I mean, Aaron Rodgers just went off. I mean, Packers have been basically been unstoppable so far this season. And the Chiefs, you know, despite a rather low-scoring first three quarters, the Chiefs ended up flexing their muscles for turnovers by the Patriots. Jarrett Stidham. And Brian Horry. Brian Horry got the start. Um, just struggled for the most part. You can't let Frank Clark, Taco Charlton, and Tyron Matthew get a hold of you like that. You can't let that happen. And, you know, I mean, Patrick Mahomes and company on the offense just did what they needed to do once that fourth quarter got going and got rolling and things were just, you know, boom. It was very, very much a blowout. And, I mean, the Patriots kept up with it for the longest time. So, you know, not even surprised about that. What about my Dallas Cowboys? Well, um, another absolutely dreadful performance by the defense. I mean, we turned the ball over way too many times. Again, two fumbles and the pick. And Odell Beckham literally just shat all over us. I, I know we're, we're going to keep making Odell Beckham jokes about his um, desires. I'll say that. And then, you know, Kareem Hunt just kicked us all over the area code, too. He got, he got two touchdowns. Speaking of, you know, the Browns, they're 3-1. and one. Very surprising. Cowboys one and three now. It's just this defense and this offensive line is just bad. It is bad. Really, really bad. I want to talk about some major injuries real quick. Uh, first, Nick Chubb got injured. Austin Eckler got injured. No J. Howard got injured. I just wanted to make sure um, that they get those across because I mean those are three big, big injuries. And, you know, now T's going to be hurting a little bit more with injuries and stuff like that. In this COVID-19 season, basically, where the NFL has had to adapt, improvise, and overcome everything. Thursday night football, real quick. Um, Adam Gase isn't fired yet. Don't know why. He should be fired. Broncos beat up on the Jets. Well, not really beat up on the Jets. I mean, the Jets had a lot of momentum. Darnold had a lot of momentum in that game, but ultimately, you know, the Broncos got the win anyway, 37-28. Um, Bengals finally get their first victory. They beat the Jags. So, um, yeah, Joey Burrow got his first victory as an NFL quarterback. Meanwhile, the Chargers just keep blowing leads. Like, the Chargers just... 
find a way to bungle this up. You can't, despite the fact they got a pick six, despite the fact the Chargers picked off Tom Brady, took it all the way back to the house, Brady still threw five touchdowns. And the Bucks came back and beat the Chargers because they were down 24-7 at one point. I don't get it. Speaking of teams blowing leads, the other major team that's been blowing leads lately is the Lions. They had a 14 to nothing lead, 14-3 lead, and then the Saints just just went up and just went on a tear. You know, the Saints did beat the Lions by six, but I mean, come on. The Lions continue to blow leads. It's just unacceptable. Um, Seahawks. They beat the Dolphins. I mean, not really too much there to really talk about. Panthers beat the Cardinals. You know, again, nothing nothing too spectacular there. I mean, you know, both these teams are looking to be real interesting this year. And they gave a game that was pretty interesting. Ravens bounce back. I mean, come on. It's the Washington football team. They're not good either. Not even close to good. And despite the fact the Golden Tate Jalen Ramsey rivalry continues to be the most interesting thing, the Giants are just inept at everything. Like, how many times do we have to say it? The Giants are also bad. I mean, the entire NFC East is just bad. Like, this is rough. Really, really rough. You know, and the Rams beat the Giants. It was a rather low-scoring, rather boring game. I didn't watch this game at all, of course. Rather boring game, 17-9. to Nothing really here to see. And before we talk about the later games on the docket... Let's talk about Bill O'Brien. He's gone. It took the Texans far too long to fire this man. This man should have been fired back in in January after they blew a lead to the Chiefs. This man should have been fired months ago. Why did it take the organization so long? Because he did some stupid things. Why would you trade DeAndre Hopkins away? Why did you build an offensive line to protect Deshaun Watson? Vikings got their first win of the season. Defense looks atrocious. If you're going to let Dalvin Cook run for 100 plus yards, 130 yards on you, you, you shouldn't even be, you should be calling the shots as a head coach and as a GM. Receivers have been an issue. Aside from Will Fuller. But the other receivers for the Texans. Just nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. It's sad. It really is sad. Why don't we talk about Sunday Night Football first? Because this was a game that went up against the NBA Finals. Game 3. And yes... Um, eventually, I'll have to talk about the NBA Finals again. Um, that game, that series is at least going to five games right now. But it went up against the Eagles and the 49ers. Eagles finally got their first win of the season. And both these teams were just injury-ridden. We're talking just injured up the ass. And I only caught the later portions of this game because I was watching the NBA Finals first. Um, but I have to say, you know, the Eagles did it just enough. They did just enough to win. So what can you say about that? And the Eagles are in first place in the NFC East. They, they really shouldn't be. Nobody should win this division this year, but here we are. The Eagles are in first place. Now let's talk about the real, the real meat of things, you know, the real big games on Sunday which were the Bills, Raiders, and the Colts, Bears. I was very surprised to find out the Colts have the number one defense in the NFL. Very surprised. But, I mean, you got Xavier Rhodes back there. You got DeForest Buckner up front and stuff like that. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long, long day. 
It's going to be a long, long day. And, I mean, Nick Foles got the start for the Bears and everything like that. But it didn't even matter. Like, the Bears were just held to three points for majority of that game. Defense was suffocating. Suffocating for the Colts. Just suffocating the Bears. They did whatever they wanted to against the Bears' defense. Or against the Bears' offense, I mean. I mean, the Colts really scored that much. They didn't need to. Defense was just all over them. And the Bills continued to win. They beat the Raiders 30-23. to And, I mean, come on. Come on now. Like, the Bills were just doing what they wanted to do. You know, Josh Allen has been great. Everything else about this team has been good so far. I mean, what can you expect right now? What can you expect right now other than the Bills keep winning? They just continue to win, and they're also undefeated. There's several undefeated teams left in the NFL right now. But that can all change very, very shortly. And But right now, what I think we all need to know, what we all are kind of thinking is that the Browns, the Browns are legit. The Browns are a legit good team this year. You know, they're 3-1 and one right now. They could collapse down the, low, the road or something. But they're a good team. And the Seas is just terrible. Just awful. Awful division. Who wants this division? Because everybody except the Giants has a win. Who wants it? Who wants this division? Can anybody stop Chiefs? I don't know. I don't know yet. Patriots, despite you know not having Cam, really held the Chiefs in check for most of that game until you know turnovers caught up with them. Colts have the number one defense in the NFL. How that is possible, I have no idea. It is crazy, and the Colts. Colts are looking pretty good despite the fact that, you know, they have old man Rivers back there who sometimes throws. I'm surprised that he's completing 70% of his passes too, you know, old man Rivers, despite the fact that there was several times that he's thrown the ball just out of everybody's reach or he throws a bad pick or something like that. Very surprised. So with that being said, everybody, week four is now over. And... You know, another week of NFL football is upon us very, very shortly. So with everything said, everybody, see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a good day.